Was his uh, third recovery of the weekend? If he wouldn't stop, he probably uh, would have made it, but he stopped uh, to get a picture. No, no, no. Cavalry is here. I'm a mountain goat. These are not mountains. I put it in, in too too low. Yeah, I do request a ride back though. Yeah. That'd, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> Doing great. <laughs> that is quite the mound. Like nothing. What the hell? That was impressive. That was impressive, yeah. I think it's all in the tires. Couldn't have picked a bigger log. Did great. And less, less wraps. <laughs> that is true. Less reps and hopefully more stability. Yeah, all right. What's up? I was going to say, if this pulls me at least to here, Neil, I think I can go tell him to stand by for a second. Go forward and get out. If somebody will take that, please. And I said I'd never use Yeah. You know what the acorn said when you grew up? What? You always know if you're caught mad, you know what you do when it rains, right? Uh-uh. Coincide. I just want you to get tight on him and just stay tight. Don't pull. Let me know if he's getting tight. You still got... Keep going. Keep going. Two feet. Stop. For reference, this recovery took about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, um, which, you know, recoveries aren't going to be fast, and this one most definitely was not. But the slower the better, because the safer it is. And we got them Yeah! Up. All right. Well, that was uh, interesting, to say the least. <laughs> we got the guy out, though. That was pretty tough. And are looking at spinning around the Bronco right now. We're going to go back out the course the way that they came in. And I get to ride in the lifted Tacoma, which is going to be sick. He should be good now. That's the first to go. Yep. They made it through that direction the first time. Check, check, radio check. Uh, this is Rich on 17. Uh, white Nissan's out, we're good. What other two? Who said there's three trucks stuck in the car? I thought Neil said that. <laughs> so someone said it over the radio. <laughs> oh, that's lame. Well, anyways, run it over anyway. So he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them on pace, running the race So we ended up going out on a little daytime trail ride Which was a ton of fun It was really, really muddy because it rained all night um, but we wanted to go out get a little bit of mud on the tires and so I got to ride in a sweet lifted 4 
a guy named Kwame, great, great guy. Just had a just had a really good time. Um, so we wanted to go out, and hit up the trails before the afternoon presenters or something. But that's coming up later. It's like turning on a faucet. Oh shit. Soup de jour. Yes. That's so cool. So after an absolutely incredibly delicious barbecue lunch, um, like barbecue pulled pork sandwiches, it was amazing. We head back over to the challenge course uh, since it dried up a little bit. And uh, this orange Tacoma that just showed up decided to give it a go. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Like nothing. Such skill. Like it doesn't even care.
So the rest of the day was basically spent at camp. Uh, we had a couple of really neat uh, pre presenters that came out and uh, were kind of talking to us about environment and stuff and showing us some cool things. So yeah. got a few clips from that coming up and a little bit of a night ride and another amazing barbecue dinner. And this time it was uh, like smoked brisket or something. Freaking absolutely incredible. Well, I'm still at 85% battery, but I figured. Get some use out of the solar panels, right? Check it out. 147 watts in. That's crazy. There is our facility, the Center for Birds of Prey, where we house about 100 birds there, all raptors. Does anybody know what kind of bird I'm holding? Is it a kestrel of some sort? Maybe a kestrel of some sort. A raptor. Maybe a falcon. <laughs> Maybe a falcon. <laughs> and falcons are the same. This bird is very falcon-like. It, it is shaped like a falcon because they have a similar hunting style. But it's not a falcon. I heard something else. There was a yell JJ? out of an answer. I'm not sure if it was right or not. It's a thing, right? it's a JJ. So it seems like nobody knows the answer. This is what we call a Mississippi kite. On a day like today, where there's a really nice warm breeze in the air, hot air rises. That's perfect for a bird like this to simply float in the air or do what we call kiting. That's where these birds get their name. That means that we've had this bird for about 20 years. He's pretty well trained, but one of the things that he's a little bit nervous about is wheels. And unfortunately, there are many wheels around here at this program today. So I don't know if you're bound to get this one right. Do you know what kind of bird that we are looking at right now? Red tailed hawk. Red hawk, yes, somebody got it right. How many notice that he's a pretty low flyer? So he goes up enough to clear your head, but not so high that he has to hit the brakes as he comes. Other low flying species like owls as well, always, always conserving energy. Now, as far as what a bird like the red tailed hawk does, they have incredible ripping power. And again, the reason that's happening is because these birds are fattening up on enzymes and catching the difficult stuff that's left, like rabbits and squirrels. You are not going to make it past the hawk. My bird this year had the opportunity to go oh, out. Oh, oh. That way. <laughs> All right, so we'll stop talking about what I do. We'll talk about this. So I've got a nice tasty meal in my glove. That was one that he was going to add with. This is half of a rat. This is his portion for today. Sometimes I like to show him. So I'm showing him his whole meal. This bird is training me right now because I don't want to go on a bird chase. So I'm saying if you come down after doing the thing I didn't want you to do, you'll get this really big diet. So I'm cheating a little bit. Normally what I want you to do is I want you to come down no matter what food item I have. Uh, but this is a bird that is not used to certain uh, things like this. So I want him to have a good experience. Hey, if you come down, there's a nice big tasty reward. At the end, you can feel comfortable with this. I think a very wild story uh, that I'm going to let them tell, um, but I, it, it has to do with the, the Wamba Cycle Trail, which is an OHV off-highway vehicle trail. Is it the only one in the low country, would you say? Within two hours of Charleston. The only one within two hours of Charleston. Chris and Stephanie are both professional race car and supermoto drivers. They both currently hold records. Um, in their in their sports. And we're happy to be here. This is a really cool event. Uh, this is my husband Chris and uh, like Jeff said we do a lot of work. We're pretty much the only ones doing all of the maintenance at the Wamba Trail uh, system. What the problem was is that the Forest Service was not closing the gates and updating the call line to let riders know that there was an active hunt on the trail system. So they would go out to open gates and go ride and come across hunters out there, which is extremely dangerous. Oh boy, this is uh, mud soup.
That was freaking incredible, my guys. I had so much fun. Uh, what an amazing group of people. I did not expect uh, to be accepted so quickly uh, and so easily into, you know, just a group of people that I'd never met before, you know? But there was, what, 10 of us, something like that, um, that all just gravitated together, tenting next to each other, and we're like, you know what? It's gonna be our, we're gonna be, be we're gonna be best fucking friends. And we, that was great. We had a, we had an awesome time. Um, I hope you have enjoyed, I guess, the, the, the video that I, I put out on this. You know, the, it was a, it was a full weekend. Um, there's a lot of things that, you know, had to kind of fit together for this to be able to happen. It's only the second time that it's happened. Um, and they're going to be doing it again in the end of October uh, sometime, uh, I think. And I'm going to do my best to be there. So hope you have enjoyed. If you have, then uh, please come back, hang out again, and I'll see you next time. Midnight Sun 518. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Mistakes were made.